Hello, my name is David and I'm from No Longer Music and Steiger International and we came to Beirut for the first time last year. It was uh, quite an experience because we were outside in this square near this uh, church plain and just before we were going to start someone uh, from the crowd said um, if you play there are people here that will will attack you. There's people here who have threatened to, to like cause a riot or something if we do the show. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to preach. And just as I was starting to tell them that Jesus was not a political thing, but he was somebody who loved us, someone who wanted a relationship with us, someone uh, jumped up on the stage and they told me, you need to shut up. You can't say anything. What? Okay, if you want to know Jesus, I want, I have to stop now, okay? So, so Mazen and, and uh, Aaron and I jumped into the, into the crowd and I started telling people that, that, that they needed to, if they wanted to be free, if they were tired of feeling um, empty inside, that Jesus was, was what they needed. And I invited people to kneel with me. And Mazen is translating this for me in Arabic. Please stop. While Dave was uh, speaking and I translating, he told me, "If you if you didn't shut up, I will <laughs> I will break your uh, your uh, what's that uh, your jaw." What she said was. Leave now, go to your house, go to your homes, leave. Bark or don't bark, the show is over. She treated people like dogs. It makes me angry too, but we need to understand. You know what this does? This makes me even know we have to come back here even more. You understand? This doesn't discourage me. So why do they cancel this concert? They cancelled the concert because they thinking that Jesus cannot be preached, uh, but in one way, you know, uh, they they are, I think, they're close-minded, so I don't know. What's happening? Basically, the, it's the angry church versus the crowd that and wanted to hear us play, fight. and there's like five or six fist fights that have just broken out because the church is mad, and then the crowd is mad, and they're having fights. It's unbelievable. <laughs> you want to go to freeway to to know about God more. So I think that we guys like people ask me this too. Where are they playing? We'll follow them. Where are they playing? And it was and one one of them was that Muslim father you met. It was like, where are they playing? I'll take my children. Where are they playing? I'm like, I'm sorry, they're leaving tonight to Turkey. He's like, but they're coming back. I said yes next year. We're so we sad. Just, <laughs> we're so mad. And you know, we're here in the Middle East, close-minded and stuff. We came here the third time to to, to see the show. And you know, and we're sorry, but we're so grateful. And especially uh, you guys, especially Justin, the bassist, he told me something so valuable. Don't be offended. Just, just know Jesus, you know, and love him. And love, love those. He told me that you can, you can pray to Jesus, he will listen to you. But I want to tell you something. Don't think that all of us are like that. We all like you, all love you. That's why we came here. You need to go, you need to go. Bless you guys! Yeah, God bless you! We love you! Come back! Okay, go! 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, let's go! Ali, Ali! The metal scene here in Lebanon is so strong. They ha they are so they they are all uh, mostly atheists and do, do not believe in God. So um, when Oregon Music came the first time last year and they had their concert, many people who were joking start thinking seriously about God. I had around 400 papers, 400 names that wrote, I want to know more about Jesus, 400 names. I'm talking about real freedom! And Beirut needs to be free! And so 
know if you feel like I want to know this Jesus of freedom, not this fascist system. I want, to, I want us to come together and I would like to bless you. Come tomorrow to our party. Tomorrow, 7 o'clock. God bless you. Goodbye. We talked about how, how great it would be if there could be some kind of a center here, some kind of a youth center where so many people who have been hurt by bad ideas that they have about, about Jesus, where they've only seen uh, negative things in religion, where they could come and see who the real Jesus is. I believe that God will raise up an army of young people who are going to radically impact and change the reality of Beirut, of Lebanon, of the Middle East, of the world because that is how powerful he is. And if there are men and women like you guys who are willing to do what it takes to follow Jesus, then he will use you to do things beyond your wildest dreams. Okay, so why is it important that we have this youth center <clears throat> in Beirut? There, there are no other places where young people can go, and especially from the secular cultures and subcultures, where they can go and feel uh, and feel and feel safe that, that's a place that they can relate to and they can worship God and get to know him in their in their own context is there anything right now in Beirut reaching these people not really no there's nothing organized and there's nothing uh, that's very effective I would say in and reaching out to these people and more importantly uh, following up with them and you know this just discipling them I, I think the good thing about the the secular culture in Lebanon is that it mixes up uh, people from, from different backgrounds and for example if you go to a metal concert or a rock concert you cannot you can't uh, tell the difference between people whether they're Christians or Muslims I believe that, that the next year when you come you will see this place filled with believers I believe this I do too because God is is real yeah. and he's working in Lebanon yeah. and those people are hungry